Melvin Edwards' work really deals with a very painful history of the United States. It's uh, racial divisions, it's uh, oppression of minorities over long decades, and this is something that the country is obviously still grappling with. Edwards has made these works from 1963 onward and is still making them now. Well, the early 60s, uh, what people call the civil rights movement, was heating up in that period. And I felt, well, there shouldn't be any reason that I can't put ideas from that into my work in some kind of way to express what I felt or what I thought was important. The title of this retrospective exhibition is uh, Melvin Edwards, Five Decades. I would really love if visitors could you know, experience this exhibition and come to grips with these objects in a way that allows them to be both beautiful and painful. Well, Melvin Edwards, um, born in 1937 in uh, Houston, Texas, spent about five formative years of his life in Dayton, Ohio. Being in Dayton uh, turned out to be, in retrospect, very good for me. Ohio wasn't uh, segregated legally as mm -hmm. Texas was. Uh, it had its discriminatory realities, but uh, it was a more uh, open place and experience than uh, Texas was. He primarily works with welded steel, a sculptural arrangement that is both abstract, but it also has a very powerful you know, undertone of, of social concerns, particularly to do with the civil rights movement. Most solutions to the world's problems or to an artist's problems are complex, mm -hmm. and so you have to deal with them. I think I do that within my work. Edwards is best known for a series of works that are called the Lynch Fragments. There's about 200 of them that he has made in the decades since 1963. And these works, they are a, a roughly the size of a human head. The fragments uh, that they are presented at eye level, it's the way we communicate or judge or try to understand the world through this place that our senses are. Every person's level is wherever their head is. But at the same time, it resists that because they don't necessarily look anything like a face. So you are sort of caught between this sense of, of empathy with it, a feeling like it is another person, but then a sense that this is a, a violated body. Certainly I know about chains and oppression and that, but if you're a traditional blacksmith anywhere in the world, if you make a good chain, you're an expert at uh, blacksmithing. It's just the way that human beings learn to make a stronger kind of rope. Chains of love, that's in so many songs. Uh, the point is the connection, and of course, when we talk about family history, you know, we're talking about the, the linkages from generation to generation. Everybody's pretty happy about the use of the word love, but there are people out there that would love to kill you. I hope that people come away with a sense that artworks can be both abstract, but also highly meaningful.